Okay. Reggie had mentioned that um, uh, a, a long time ago, you and Big Rock were going to square off at Looters Park and that Reggie Sr. was basically going to be the referee with a couple other cops, you know, behind him or whatever, just to yeah. uh, watch you guys do your thing so that it didn't escalate. Can you tell us about that story? Well, Rock was mad, which everybody gets mad, but Rock was chewing sugar out. And my whole thing is, wait, hold up, homie. Shug from the hood. You can't just be talking to the homie like that. You know what I'm saying? And Rock was, nigga, fuck that. And woo, 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 woo. So we had a thing of going to the blind in the hood. Nigga, we can go over here and, and square off. So me and Rock went to the side to square off. And that's when Reggie and all of them came. And it was pretty much Reggie them wanted to, okay, if they don't fight, use a fist, they can come into guns. So whatever they do, let them do it pretty much. That's pretty much what he said. I'd rather see them fight and get it over with opposed to them shooting at each other and now you got a war type of shit. So, and that's what Reggie Rice Sr. run to Compton. You know, a lot of the gang members in Compton you know, confided, talked to Reggie Wright Sr. because he had that rapport with different in every neighborhood, somebody and all the G's in different neighborhoods. So Reggie Wright pretty much solved a lot of chaos in Compton by knowing everybody. But yeah, after me and Rock talked about it and, and which called him, we understood each other. We understood each other grounds. I understood where he was coming from. He understood where I was coming from. I'm getting at you because you talking to the homie, woo de woo woo. Rock is saying, nigga, he the homie too, but the money is woo de woo woo. Nigga, let me get my check. I work, woo woo woo. I feel you, my nigga. And it was good. So all of that little shit got squashed real quick. Okay. Um, moving forward a little bit, can you tell me about the split up between um, the looters and the uh, the looters park and and the mob and how that how that happened and why that happened? What the split up? Yeah. Well, it it pretty went sour. Pretty much went sour after Buncher was killed, and it's crazy because if you have that type of split up, just because. Ludus Park didn't kill Buntry. And these cats got to understand that. It wasn't Ludus Park that killed Buntry. It was certain individuals, certain shit that happened, Buntry was killed. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the, the whole hood. So now you got the mob saying, I'm going to fuck this. We going to woo, woo, woo. What was you bitch ass niggas at the day that Buntry was killed? Nobody wanted to be by a fart. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't have that energy, you shouldn't have even tried to generate or even be speaking on nigga on hood, on Buntry, nigga, we gonna woo woo. You don't see that. You don't see retaliation to its fullest. You know what I'm saying? You don't see that. So my whole thing is they should have let that go and let it die. Buntry been gone. 20 years, 20 fucking years. And for them to be where they at today, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. You know, my whole thing is, the way I was feeling the day Buntry got killed, grabbing grabbing this, this AK-47 and ready to go and just say, fuck it. The homies went and got my mother, and my mother took the gun. I'm glad she did that because half of the guys in Luda's Park, I grew up with, I know them. They got kids. Now, that's their generation of gangbanging. They are kids, like my nephews. That's our generation. They're gangbanging. If they came over and killed 
my nephews, which they they Nico was killed. Somebody got to look at it and say that shit is bad because it wasn't them. They had they wasn't even ready or even gang banging at the time. You know, these are kids, and I could have been in 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 the hood killing one of the homies' kids. No, man, it's time to go. This shit ain't right. I can't be Mob James and I done told this dude 10 years ago or three weeks ago, nigga, I love you, nigga, you my homie, but I'm in prison for killing your son. It just didn't sit right with me. So this whole beef that they got going when when Alton was killed, it, it don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Some of those cats still deal with Lutus Park. Some of the Lutus Park still kick it with some of the mob cats or it's got family ties. So what they doing today, it don't make no sense, but there's nobody in the hood to sit those cats down and say, let this shit go. Let it go. It's over. It's done. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody revenging Nico. Ain't nobody revenging Buntry. Ain't nobody revenging Twin. Ain't nobody revenging Scar. Let it go. Y'all fighting over the stupidest shit. And I think that's the 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 homies that have sons that's out there game banging. They not getting at their sons. You, you ain't a part of that shit. This ain't what it's about. I remember, man... Lutus Park, the mob, Am, Lime, used to kick it. Used to be able to go to Lutus Park and, and hang out or go into the gym and play basketball and all that shit. Now, it's about a gun or this killer or that killer. It was never like that. So, you know, I tell all of those dudes, you know, Buntry is resting for 20 years now. Let it go. Let it go. Y'all ain't nobody out there doing it. The only motherfuckers that's supposed to be or should have been is Timmy Rue and Mob James. If them dudes ain't pushing the line like that, y'all motherfuckers, let it go. Because it's not a hood thing. It's not Mob versus Looters. It's not that.